Fighting for his life while reliving memories from his past, Pagan Min is trapped within his own mind. In order to escape, the maniacal King of Kirat will have to collect the three pieces of his mask while discovering unique locations and taking on new challenges along the way. Now, that might sound like a tall order, but luckily, we've put together some tips to get you started. Respect is the currency you'll use to purchase everything from weapon upgrades to trait unlocks. You earn this by defeating enemies, opening chests, and completing challenges scattered around Kirat. One way to improve your earnings is to unlock the permanent trait Greed, which allows you to retain some of the respect you earned before dying. Unlocking this trait grants you some additional progress in between runs, and will make it easier to purchase traits, powers, and weapons. When you first spawn at the dinner table in the royal palace, you'll be directed by Lakshmana to glance at yourself in the mirror and notice how tired and hurt you are. This introduces you to the mirror, which you'll use throughout the game to unlock various permanent traits that carry over in between Pagan's runs. Pride is the first trait you'll unlock, which grants access to replenishing healing syringes. Another permanent trait we recommend unlocking early on is Envy, which adds a gadget slot to your weapon wheel for items like grenades and Molotov cocktails. After healing yourself, you'll move over to the Armory to receive your first weapon. The Armory contains various primary, secondary, and specialist weapon cases you can unlock and upgrade at the safe houses around Kirat. Once you've earned enough respect to unlock new weapon cases, keep an eye out for weapon types that complement your playstyle. The MG-21 is good for mobs of enemies, while the KSG shotgun is an excellent choice for close-range combat. Mix and match weapon types and upgrades to maximize your damage during a run. Including the starting point at the Royal Palace, there are four total safe house locations scattered across the map. The other locations consist of the Lakeside Safe House, the Country Safe House, and the Mountain Safe House. It's within these safe houses that you can purchase upgrades for weapons and character traits. But be warned, each house will be guarded by enemies, and you'll have to defeat them in order to gain entry. Additionally, safe houses allow you to save your weapon loadouts, temporary powers, and earned cash so you can exit the game without losing any progress. It's highly recommended to stop in a safe house before completing trials or wandering into combat-heavy locations. Scattered throughout Kirat are three damaged Pagan Min statues in need of restoration. To fix these, you'll need to fight off mobs of enemies in a specific radius while a repair progress bar is filled. Once a trial has been completed, the still standing power will appear. This temporary ability acts as a second life and resurrects you once if you die. It's also possible to sell this power for some extra respect. You'll notice any remaining enemies left over at the end of the trial turn into golden gophers. These little guys grant additional bonuses if you're able to kill them before they scurry off. There are three puzzle-based challenges called Delusion Puzzles, located in various places throughout Kirat. Each Delusion Puzzle will have specific objectives to complete, ranging from collecting diary entries and room keys to fighting off more tyrants. Completing each puzzle will provide more insight into Pagan's past and the people around him. And, as an extra bonus, you'll be rewarded for your efforts with various powers. Like Delusion Puzzles, there are three memory missions in which you relive Pagan's memories. Objectives will be given during each mission, and each mission completed rewards you with an ever-important piece of Pagan's Mask. Once all three missions are finished in a single run, you'll be directed to the Royal Palace for the finale. Player be warned, this is much easier said than done, so be sure to beef up your arsenal and invest in some awesome upgrades. The golden doors you come across act as a fast travel system, but there's a small catch. 
Each door only connects to the other door that shares its number. For example, door 1 will only lead to the other side of door 1. Door 2 will lead to the other side of door 2, and so on. These will greatly help you get across Kirat with great efficiency as you progress. Subscribe to Game Plan for more tips, tricks, and guides on Far Cry 6.